right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Bama saltwater fishing video out here in Orange Beach in my hometown. Beautiful place here. And I'm actually under the Perdido Pass Bridge. This is Perdido Pass, the Gulf of Mexico is right there. All of our bayous and bays is up in there. So this is a great fishing area, which this place used to be open, but the hurricane messed it up. But you can still get under the bridge. You can still go along the seawalls. Now, I'm actually not fishing today. I did bring a fishing rod, but I brought my other GoPro and we're gonna drop it down along the seawall. I've dropped my GoPro down below the pier over here in Gulf Shores and had some awesome footage. So we're gonna do that here. And I have a lot of other places that I plan on doing it as well. Let's go ahead and find a few places where we're not bothering too many people fishing. And we're gonna drop this GoPro down and see what we capture. All right, we moved a little bit closer to the bridge. So we're gonna drop it down right along this seawall next to these bridge pilings to see what we capture. Since we filmed some over here, we're gonna move down a little bit further in the pass and do some filming there. Let's try right here. I fish here a lot. There are a lot of hangups and snags, so hopefully I don't lose the camera, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna go try one last spot along this seawall and see what it captures. Oh. 
Well, that's going to be it for the filming that I'm going to do. So let me bring the GoPro up. That was actually really cool. I'm going to head home. So it is raining. <laughs> it's the next day. I filmed all that yesterday. And I like to leave that raw footage in there just so you can hear it. It's pretty cool to hear everything down there. I'm not quite for sure what some of the sounds are. But I just like to leave that in there. I don't like to overlay music. But uh, I'm actually going to go fishing once this rain stops. I do want to cast net some bait. I have my cast net and my bait bucket downstairs. So I'm going to head along the bank here in the bay and try to find me some little pinfish. And see if we can go catch some of those mangrove snapper. So just because you see fish there doesn't quite mean you can catch them. So we're going to go try that theory and see what we can get. So once this rain stops here, which I don't mind fishing in the rain, but the GoPro screen <laughs> gets water drops on it. It makes it hard to film. So once it kind of lays off a little bit, we'll go back to fishing. So it has stopped raining and we're out here along the seawall. I just got done cast netting some really frisky live baits before I got over here. Plenty of live pinfish, uh, about a dozen and a half in there. And I'm hoping to catch some mangrove snapper to take home. So we don't have a very strong current today, which is great because it can get pretty strong coming through the pass. And all I brought was a one ounce weight. But let me show you my setup. It's just a drop shot setup. Literally on the bottom is a one ounce weight and I'm using 15 pound fluorocarbon. About a foot from my weight, I tied on a little two walt circle hook. This is by Mustad with the polymer knot. And then another foot up, a black barrel swivel. And it's as simple as that. But my setup is a 4,000 Shimano reel, 20 pound braid, and a seven foot medium heavy bass action St. Croix rod. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these live baits out. And now on these really small ones, this is a real small pinfish. And just like that, it'll look very natural on the hook. Let's see if that can get us a nice mangrove today. All right, here goes the first drop. So there's a lot of structure down below this concrete wall, a lot of rocks, a lot of places for these fish to hang out and hide. So it shouldn't take long to get a bite. Hopefully we can increase our odds of catching the keeper fish using live bait fish versus shrimp. Oh, I just hooked into one on the pinfish. That feels like something decent. Yeah, it is, okay. Target species. Let me get off where I'm at. <laughs> nice mangrove. Gray snapper, black snapper, but I call a mangrove. Look at the beautiful blue right by its nose. Since we're in Alabama waters, they have to be 12 inches. So we're gonna measure him and see if he meets the 12 inch mark. And he does. Nice. So that's the first one for the cooler. He's barely over, but that's a keeper. Let's see if we can catch a few more of these. You're allowed 10 per person in Alabama. There's no closed season, but the warmer months are the better months to catch them. Beautiful joker. They do have teeth like all snappers. You want to watch out for them. Let's throw them in the cooler. So we just landed our first mangrove on the pinfish. Uh-oh. Oh man, this happens to me all the time. My aerator batteries died. Ah. Dang it. Oh, come on. I had it going for a second. There we go. <laughs> okay. Ah, these things are so moody. If you get these wet one time, which I did, this is a necessity to keeping these things alive. Now you can use those buckets that you drop down in the water, but I like these much better. This is just an angle and then it comes with an air pump. They die fairly quickly. So I'll go out and buy a different one, but you don't want to get them wet because wet will kill it. But let's grab another bait. There's a good pinfish right there. And see if we can catch another mangrove. Oh, no. Nope. That's annoying. Free bait. <laughs> he got to go free. Sacrifice one. Let's get it back down. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> another fish on another pinfish. Hey, that one might keep too. Mm. You know, I'm going a long time in between bites. Not a lot of action, but the action that is happening, is, these are pretty good fish. He's about the same size as the other one. Look where that circle hook is. Let's measure this one and see if he'll keep. He's right at that 12 inch mark, their total length. So from the tip of the tail, you pinch it like that from the tip of the tail to their nose. <laughs> 
So he's a keeper. He's going to go in the cooler. But man, I'm telling you, gorgeous fish. They taste amazing. These are perfect size pretty much to leave whole if you want. But look at the blue on there. Thank you. Thank you for buying my bait. I'm going to tie back up and get another bait out there. All right, here it goes again. See, I like using braided line because when you're bottom fishing or really any type of fishing, there's no stretch so you can feel everything that's happening. But it'd be nice to get a few more because it was a lot of labor cast netting for this bait. Well, I'm going to head in. So I caught two mangroves. That's better than nothing. But golly, is it slow. Got old blue heron over here chilling and used up all the bait. So I only brought like a dozen and a half out. That's what I caught. That was fun though. At least I caught two fish and didn't get skunked. But yep, I'm gonna go ahead, head in. Well, I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. So it's really cool to see what's down below where we go fishing. If you have not seen my other video at the Gulf State Park Pier, you can go find it. I'll try to link it at the end of this video. Plenty of plans of doing this in other places. But like I said, you have to wait for the right conditions. You can't just drop a GoPro down in muddy water because then you won't capture anything. It's too, the visibility is not good. But if you have not yet subscribed and you enjoy content like this, go hit that subscribe button at the end of this video. It's free to do. It allows you to keep up with neat content and it helps this channel grow so we can do more videos like this. And if you want to see more videos like this, go leave a comment down below, drop a like, and we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later.